everyone, welcome back to my channel! Or welcome to my channel if this is the first video you're seeing. For today's video, I will be doing the LPS Stuber tag in honor of reaching 100 subscribers! I just want to thank you all so 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 much for 100 subs. I only posted my first LPS video at the beginning of July and it is currently the end of August. So yeah, I really never set like a sub goal or thought about how many subs I would get at any point, but yeah, getting a hundred in like two-ish months seems insane to me and I just want to thank you all so 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 much for supporting me. I could gush forever, um, and this is probably going to be a rambly video anyway, so I should just get started on the questions. Hey guys, editing me here. I just wanted to quickly say that there are variations in which questions people use for the LPS Tuber tag. So if you've watched somebody else's tag and they answer different questions than I did, just know that there are some variations. That being said, I will put the list of the questions that I'm going to be answering in the description in case you want to follow the tag the same way that I do. So the first question is, why did you decide to become an LPS tuber? Um, so the main reason was quarantine. Um, it's 2020. Obviously, we all know about the current pandemic. So yeah, uh, I was busy with school until mid-June, um, and then I took a summer class that ended in the beginning of July. So that's sort of around the time that I made my Instagram and my channel and started posting. But besides it being, um, you know, a time where we can't really do much outside of our houses, I've been watching LPS Tube, oh gosh, since I was maybe eight or nine years old. Yeah, so I've been you could say in the community but i haven't contributed to the community until now the next question is what is the meaning behind your username the meaning behind my username is kind of like weird and like kind of doesn't make sense so basically when i was thinking of a username i was like well i don't really want it to just be like my name and then lps or like something generic i don't know i wanted to think of something interesting and something that rolled off the tongue nicely when you said it so you might think okay uh you just put the word cat and the word star together and then added studios to the end but it actually has like kind of more of a meaning than that. It's actually kind of like weird, I don't know, kind of gross too. Basically, I have a pet cat and ever since uh, we've had her, we like for some reason started calling her butt her star. So like cat star is like cat butt, which is like kind of weird and kind of gross, but like, I don't know, some people think dog butts and cat butts are cute. So maybe that's cute. Uh, I don't know. Am I really gonna say this on camera? Like, am I really gonna say cat butt studios? Yeah, so basically that's sort of the meaning. And then studios I just added because um, cat star studios just rolled off the tongue nicely and sounded like catchy, I guess. Not catchy. I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's just easy to say. Cat Star Studios. Cat Star Studios. It's just like, it's just easy to say and hopefully easy to remember. I didn't really get this point across when I was like explaining my username stuff. So really quick, I just wanted to say that I thought it would be funny to kind of make my username an inside joke between like my sister and I. I just realized now all of you guys are sort of in on the inside joke too, and that's kind of fun actually. So question number three is, do you have any social medias for LPS? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I have my Instagram, which is always linked in the description of every video. Uh, it's just at Catstar Studios. If you have an Instagram, you should definitely follow me on there because I post some photography stuff and story updates on like when videos are coming out and things like that. I love it when I see usernames that I recognize across platforms from YouTube to Instagram. It makes me so happy when I see Instagram accounts that I follow and interact with comment on my YouTube videos. So if you are watching this and have an Instagram, you should definitely give me a follow. Question number four is how many LPS do you have? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm actually planning on doing a collection video sometime within the next couple of weeks because I actually don't know how many I have. If I were to guess, I would say maybe a couple hundred. Um, I've been collecting since I was, I think, six or seven. Um, so yeah, it's been many years and I've accumulated many pets, <laughs> but um, I'm not 100% sure of how many I have. I've actually never counted, which is kind of weird. You would think I would have counted by now, but I haven't. So <laughs> anyway, in my collection video that will be coming within the next couple of weeks, you and I both will find out how many LPS I have. Question number five is what is your LPS icon? Or I've also heard this question as what is your LPS mascot? Um, so my mascot is 
right here. This is Miss Charlotte. I might do the mascot tag at some point, maybe, um, if you're interested in hearing a little more about Charlotte. But uh, yeah, she's my mascot. She is also my icon currently. Um, it's just a picture of her that I took with a background, pretty much. I'm not very artistic, so I couldn't really make myself like a cute digital drawing icon or anything like that. But this is actually not true anymore. In between the day that I filmed this and me here now editing it, the lovely LPS Doby on YouTube and Instagram actually drew me a profile picture. I'm going to pop it up right now. I personally think I look gorgeous in it and I absolutely love it. So basically ignore what I say about not having a cool profile picture because now I have one that I am absolutely in love with. <laughs> Question number six is what camera and editor do you use? For my camera, I use the Canon Rebel T6, which isn't even my camera, it's actually my sister's and she is kindly letting me use it for um, all my videos and things like that. She had a phase where she was into human people photography, so that's why she has this camera. And for my editor, I just used iMovie that came on my um, laptop. <laughs> but I'm a firm believer in that the camera and editor you use, like whether you use an iPhone or like a big fat Canon, that does not determine the like talent level or skill or quality of your video. Videos, I totally think that you can make amazing content with an iPhone, but I am fortunate enough to be able to use a camera and honestly it's a lot more convenient for me to use something with an SD card instead of my phone because my phone always has no storage so I would not be able to film anything if I'd use my I apologize for that little wardrobe malfunction, but um, anyway, I'm fortunate enough to be able to use a camera um, and I'm happy that I have that because my phone has no storage to film anything. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm rambling again, but like I said, I think you can make amazing content with an iPhone, like 100%. Question number seven is who is your LPS tuber idol? This is pretty hard. I don't really have one single specific idol. Um, there are a lot of channels that I love and watch and think are super talented. Talented. Too many to name off the top of my head, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I've been watching LPS Tube for many years, so I've consumed a lot of lovely content that is made by LPS Tubers who I really look up to. Of course, there are longtime icons like LPS Hannah and huge channels like LPS Honey who both make super, super amazing content, but there are tons of other channels that I really love too, so yeah. This one is gonna be hard to answer and too many to name right now. Question number eight is, can you give a little behind the scenes of where you film? Um, yeah, I just film on my desk that I have in my room, so I'll show you that, I guess. So here we have Charlotte and the little backdrop that I have going, um, and then we have this light up mirror that I use for, like, lighting. Um, this little thing I prop my camera up on and then my phone for questions. I have some clothes, my laptop stand. Yeah, just a, a basic white desk pretty much. Question number nine is what music do you usually use in your videos? Uh, I always have all my music linked in the descriptions of all my videos. Most of it I get from Kevin McLeod. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I always thought it was Mac MacLeod or something when I was, when I was younger but I think it's McLeod. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I use a lot of his music, copyright free, lovely. Um, I also use some things from the YouTube library and I also get a lot of my music from um, copyright free beats channels on YouTube. Um, like my intro song, for example, if you look in the description, you'll see it's from a, another YouTube channel that makes um, copyright free beats that people can use. <laughs> as long as it's not mono. <sighs> This flower, this flower is, <laughs> this flower is too much. All right, we, we gave up on the flower. She's just gonna have her necklace. We're fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, um, if you look in the description, like the first song listed is my intro song and you can see that that channel that it's from makes like a bunch of beats and music that you can use as long as you're not monetizing it. Um, another place I sometimes get music from is SoundCloud. Um, they have some copyright free stuff on there from certain artists. Like for example, in my talk to me little music video thing that I made the other week, the song I used in that was from SoundCloud actually, from a lovely user called Vitra or Vietra 
Petra. Her voice is absolutely angelic, so <laughs> I'd recommend you go watch that video and listen to her beautiful voice. But yeah, my music is always linked in the description, so if you ever are wondering about something, that's a good place to check for it. Question number 10 is, what is one tip you would give to a new LPS tuber? As a new LPS tuber myself, I don't really know how qualified I am to speak on this, but just from what I've learned so far, make content that you like, and if something stops being fun or stops being interesting to you, like don't feel like you need to do it. Of course, sometimes things like scripting, it's not the most fun, but I mean like, don't just make content that you think people will like, make content that you like. You know what I mean? Like if you have a really, I don't know, kind of out there idea for a series, like with my series Forbidden Eyes, not everyone likes fantasy and things like that, but I do like it. So I'm happy with it and I like making it because that's the stuff that I like. Basically, make content that you like to watch. Don't make things just to get views or please other people. Make things that you like because that's the only way you're gonna have fun with this. Question 11 is how many subscribers do you hope to get in one month? I have about 109 right now. Once again, in between the day I filmed this and the day that I'm now editing it, I am up to, I think, 117 subs, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, once again, ignore what I say about subs because things have changed in the couple of days since I filmed this. And it's the end of August. So maybe by the end of September, it'd be cool to have maybe 140. Let's say I gain one sub a day. That'd be like 140. I think that would be amazing honestly. I'm not really doing LPS tube for the subs, so it doesn't really matter too much to me, but yeah, 140 would be really cool. Maybe even 150. Hey, pushing it. 150 would be cool. And the final question is, which LPS tuber should do this tag next? I don't have anyone specific in mind. I think if you haven't done it yet, it'd be cool because it helps your subs learn more about you and your channel and things like that, especially if you're a newer LPS tuber like myself. This was a really fun video for me to film and kind of get to talk about my channel and stuff like that. And that about wraps it up. I just want to thank you all so much once again for 100 subs. It means so much to me, honestly. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If people like tags, let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!